Hi everybody, it's November 21, 2018. So these frequencies are still shooting off in California and they are in the extremely low frequency uh, on that electromagnetic spectrum. They are quite low, as you can see the blue and the green. Well, those are the colors that we are seeing from these frequencies, but we are also seeing what looks to be like a lot of rain. Where? Well, in the Chico Paradise Redding area, Oroville. So we also see extremely low frequencies in this storm right here. You see this very straight line fanning out. Extremely low frequencies are used to manipulate the weather. But you can also see the straight lined sawtoothed pattern, which is also a signature of frequencies being used. Right here is the straight line of the extremely low frequency and I will show you right here. Okay, we know, we know, we know that they are using frequencies to control the weather. What I do want to bring your attention to is this video that was passed along to me in the comments section and I want to thank my subscriber for leaving that link. California Mystery Light Beams and Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division. Do they know? This is um, Victorus Liber Liberatus? I don't know. Libertus VLTV. I'm sorry. I've always, look, that's not frequencies. I've always, I don't know why. I'm just, I have a really hard time pronouncing names that aren't just the common names. Yeah, I got brain deficiencies. Okay, I want you to listen to what um, he has to say. Those frequencies that you just saw right here are perhaps coming out of a naval Air Force War Center. Sure enough, there is a military base. It's the naval base of Ventura County. Uh, so the naval base of Ventura County is in that area, almost exactly in that area. Guess what, folks? Guess what they do? The Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division. This is the Point Magoo and China Lake, California are the primary locations of the Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division. Point Magoo manages the Weapons Division Sea Range, China Lake, the Land Range. Both provide logistics and in-service support for guided missiles, freefall weapons, targets, support equipment, crew systems, and electronic warfare. Wow. Products and services. Electronic Electronic warfare support. Weapons platform integration. Surface and air target operations. Special weapons and projects technology transfer. We have so many uh, Gwen Towers and Doppler radar stations and we've got all of these um, uh, antennas and dishes that emit very dangerous frequencies in the low range to the high range and they're all over the country so 
uh, locating exactly where these frequencies are coming out of, that's a hard job because you really you need to uh, go into Google Earth and you need to locate exactly where they are coming from but you've got a lot of these naval bases in California that emit extremely low frequencies quite often now if you can see we've got extremely low frequencies also in Washington State as well as Oregon. It, it Look, Mother Nature does not work in these defined uh, lined weather fronts. That's not how Mother Nature works. So that's a very obvious signature of frequencies at work right here when it all lines up beautifully. All right, I also want to bring your attention to an article that was sent to me by a subscriber. Violent nosebleeds, dogs vomiting blood, victims of Cuba, China, sonic attack speak. Well, one victim now identified, Catherine Werner, an American diplomat diagnosed with an unexplained brain injury <clears throat> she received in China linked to the similar illnesses or injuries confirmed in over two dozen Americans working in Cuba. Cannot go back to work despite returning to the United States for treatment. According to her mother, Laura Hughes, who suffered similar symptoms after spending time in her daughter's apartment in China, Warner was diagnosed with vision, balance, and hearing problems along with an organic brain injury. Sonic is in the range of the extremely low frequencies. Extremely low frequencies. I absolutely do believe that these sonic weapons attacks are not just in China and Cuba, but they are also using these weapons against Americans. Many of you have the same symptoms. I have many of these symptoms. Hughes um, use, use told NBC News that she and her daughter heard loud, strange noises in the apartment and repeatedly saw evidence in the house that someone had broken in. Hmm. That sounds like a targeted individual. The strange sounds which diplomats in Havana also identified after being diagnosed are what led researchers to initially refer to the attacks as sonic in nature, though various theories exist on what has happened to the victims. Well, those who were assigned to evaluate the dozens of Americans who were working in Cuba, that was their initial, that was their initial um, conclusion that it was a sonic attack. Oh, but we can't say that. So then we come out with various theories and nobody can diagnose anything anymore. It is so, God, what this world we're living in is so deranged. We heard a very high pitched sound. How many high pitched sounds are you hearing? They heard it in Catherine's bedroom, and we heard a very low pulsing sound in the living room. Our heads would pulse. You would feel like you would want to regurgitate. You could become instantly paralyzed, instantaneously fatigued. The, I'm reading this because so many of you have left these comments relating and describing the symptoms that you experience and 
Many of you have also left comments saying that your dog suddenly are paralyzed or your cats are suddenly paralyzed. And then when we think about that mysterious illness paralyzing, not only children now, that polio-like illness, it's now paralyzing adults. These frequencies are extremely dangerous and if you have not seen the video that I just uploaded of a new study proving once again how dangerous these frequencies are, I hope that you do watch it. Werner's two dogs also suffered. The dogs adopted after Werner repeatedly found evidence of burglary would sometimes appear the dogs sometimes would appear to have locked themselves in rooms they were not in when the apartment was left empty and would vomit blood when exposed to the strange sounds. You vomit, you get sick, you feel so sick, your head is splitting, you're dizzy, it's a horrible feeling, it's indescribable. Hughes described Werner as a shell of what she was. The mother described the daughter as a shell of what she was. I have recently begun to get comments from several of you who are saying you are no longer yourself. But the shell of what she was, that came after prolonged exposure to whatever was hurting her. The U.S. State Department appeared to do little to help, of course. Well, um, Canadians have also experienced their government doing nothing to help them. Those also experiencing similar symptoms. Uh, but it's not just this uh, woman, Catherine Werner and her mother, they identifying themselves, others have also experienced these symptoms. One, a worker at the consulate in China said that he heard similar loud noises, suffered dizziness, nausea, and other concussion-like symptoms. The State Department reportedly evacuated nine individuals from China and provided medical care to another 250 who feared exposure to the same attacks. Their fear, I can't stand how things are written. Okay, they provided medical care to another 250 who experienced symptoms from these attacks. Not that they feared exposure to these attacks. Um, the Canadian government did not evacuate. Their um, diplomats in China. This is extremely dangerous. So we have hundreds of birds that have fallen dead once again during a 5G test at The Hague. You can watch this video. Uh, hundreds of birds dead during 5G experiment in The Hague, Netherlands. How many? 297 died immediately. What was on the corner of the roof across the street from where they died? A new 5G mask. Mass where they had done a test in connection with the Dutch railway station to see how large the range was and whether no harmful equipment would occur on or around the station and harm happened. Immediately afterwards, birds fell dead from the trees. Nearby ducks that were swimming seemed to react very oddly. They were seen sticking their heads underwater to escape the radiation while others flew away, landing on the street or in a canal. 
Almost the exact same time that those animals died near the station, Holland spore was tested with 5G transmitter mass. It, 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 these 5G mass resonate with erratic pulsed microwaves, millions per second, which has been proven to have biological effects on organs and they can kill birds instantaneously. CBS 5G cell phone towers signal renewed concerns over impacts on health. You can watch these videos. You can click on these hyperlinks to more information. But the information that I got to was well, let's see. Wi-Fi and cell phones increase pregnant women's risk of a miscarriage by almost 15, uh, 50, 50, 50, 50 percent. And how many experts, scientists, doctors coming out saying, women, you need to keep this technology away from the life growing inside you and the life when it comes outside you. And you need to not keep cell phones in your bra. Cell phones and breast cancer, the soft fatty tissue of the breast readily absorbs this radiation. Case reports are accumulating of young women with no family history getting a diagnosis of breast cancer. The tumors were unusually located directly underneath the skin where they placed their cell phones in their bra. So women should not store their cell phones in their bra. And I spoke to a subscriber slash friend yesterday and she was telling me about her daughter that she finally got her daughter to stop putting her cell phone in her bra. Don't put a cell phone in your pockets, in your bras, next to your penis. You guys, you put the cell phone in your pocket right next to your scrotum and guess what you are putting dangerous radiation into your scrotum into your penis into your breasts women this information has been known it's been known it's known it's been out there in fact we are now accumulating so much evidence how dangerous this technology is. And I cannot tell you how many people I see, kids, kids as young as two, three, four, sitting in these um, supermarket carts their mothers or whomever are shopping for food. Very often I see them on the cell phone as they're shopping, but I see these kids busy with their cell phones or I don't know what they are, like iPads or... And there they are, staring at these screens. and. That's how they keep their kids occupied. And those frequencies are so incredibly dangerous, especially to the young, especially the younger they are because these frequencies go right through these skulls that have, that are softer than adult skulls, their brains still developing, their skulls still developing, these frequencies go right 
they cross the blood-brain barrier and voila you see these adults giving these kids this weapon that is causing them brain damage they're all over the place and you want to scream all right uh, emfscientist.org international emf scientist appeal we are scientists engaged in the study of bio, uh, biological and health effects of non-ionizing electromagnetic fields based upon peer-reviewed published research we have serious concerns regarding the ubiquitous and increasing exposure to emf generated by electric and wireless devices the frequencies generated by these devices these include but are not limited to radio frequency radiation emitting devices such as cellular and cordless phones and their base stations Wi-Fi broadcast antennas smart meters baby monitors as well as electric devices and infrastructures used in the delivery of electricity that generate extremely low frequency electromagnetic fields numerous recent scientific publications have shown that electromagnetic frequency affects living organisms at levels well below most international and national guidelines the FCC has never never changed its standards in 30 years while we have Gwent towers and cell towers and smart meters and Wi-Fi that now saturate our environment cell phones and all of these gadgets and they've never done anything to create new standards considering that we are living in a new environment with dangerous frequencies Americans should be shocked at that but unfortunately I think these frequencies have affected most people's brains and they just don't care about anything all they care about is their latest and greatest gadget that they can just talk on the, their cell phones wherever they are in public doesn't doesn't matter a supermarket or the waiting room of a doctor it is so rude I'm not interested in listening to everybody's conversation well our, our world has definitely changed our life has changed I want to also bring your attention to the international appeal stop 5g on earth and in space now if 5G was the only G that was dangerous to our health that would be great maybe we could stop it but 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G has also been incredibly dangerous but now they're putting in this 5G infrastructure all over the place not reducing any of the 4G infrastructure no they're adding they're adding more dangerous radiation to our environments and you're going to see an awful lot of people die an awful lot of life die so this is a petition and what you do to get to the actual position is click here if you're an individual which I was which I clicked which I signed or if you're an organization you can choose this one but this is how you get to the petition but what are they saying we the undersigned scientists doctors environmental organizations and citizens from whatever country urgently call for a halt to the deployment of the 5G fifth generation wireless network including 5G from space satellites do not leave me a comment saying there's no satellites there are satellites Yes, it gets very, very frustrating when you get these comments and you're like, okay, 
uh, I see the satellites in the sky. And I guess it's, it has to do with distance. I, I don't know. There are satellites. 5G will massively increase exposure to radio frequency radiation on top of the 2G, 3G, 4G networks. The deployment of 5G constitutes an experiment on humanity and the environment that is defined as a crime under international law. Yes. Oh, we will have smart homes and smart businesses and smart highways, smart cities, self-driving cars, smart everything, sensors all over the place. They've already dropped millions of sensors all over Earth for the Internet of Things. Everything will be compu uh, communicating with everything else, which will then so saturate us in a a frequency density that very few life forms will be able to adapt to this environment. Most life will die because all of those sensors are talking to one another wirelessly. Um, Infants' diapers, hairbrushes, milk cartons, refrigerators, washing machines. All of it will contain antennas and microchips. All of it connected wirelessly to the internet. Think about the saturation of your homes with all of this radiation. When you have every, every gadget, every appliance, everything with these sensors in it in them you already know the dangers of the smart meter but yes what is what not widely acknowledged is that this will be an unprecedented environmental change on a global scale in addition to millions of new 5g base stations on Earth and 20,000 new satellites in space, 200 billion transmitting objects, all to be a part of the Internet of Things by 2020, which is essentially in a year from now. Oh, all right. A year and five weeks. One trillion objects a few years later. Everything will be chipped and despite widespread denial the evidence that radio frequency radiation is harmful to life is already overwhelming the accumulated clinical evidence of sick and injured human beings experimental evidence of damage to DNA cells organ systems in a wide variety of plants and animals and epidemiological evidence that the major diseases of modern civilization, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, oh God, the list is long, are in large part caused by electromagnetic pollution. There is literature, studies, a literature base of well over 10,000 peer-reviewed studies. So when you hear your government officials, those officials from the telecommunications industry that claim that these studies, they either say the studies prove that this saturation of radio frequency radiation is safe, or they'll say that the studies that prove biological effects are inconclusive. Well, those who you hear from, whom you hear from, are collecting a paycheck. This page right here has a tremendous amount of information on it. And many studies are included. The 
hyperlinks to all of these symptoms, alteration of heart rhythm, altered gene expression, altered metabolism, altered cell stem cell development, cancers, cardiovascular disease, cognitive impairment, DNA damage, impacts on general well-being, increased free radicals, learning and memory, deficits, impaired sperm function and quality, miscarriage, neurological damage, obesity and diabetes, oxidative stress, the effects in children, autism, attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, asthma, and studies on wildlife, ants, birds, forests, fro uh, frogs, fruit flies, honeybees, insects, mammals, mice, plants, rats, trees, as well as negative microbiological effects. It's affecting all life in an adverse negative way. And you get rather passionate about this subject when you are sensitive to these frequencies and have to struggle every single day feeling like crap just trying to get through. When you know that you're declining, you're aging rapidly, you're, you have a myriad symptoms that come and go when you are experiencing a lot of the symptoms that our diplomats have experienced. The nausea, the dizziness, the fatigue, the high-pitched sounds. I woke up a couple of days ago with a head-splitting headache you're dizzy. It's a horrible feeling. You get sick. You feel so sick. It's indescribable. When you experience this, and yeah, you experience this feeling sick, chronic physical pain every day, and you know where it's coming from, you get angry. And then you hear from people who, who claim either that they don't believe you or people who think that you're just a hypochondriac or they just don't care how you're feeling. You really begin to get the feeling that your fellow neighbors, friends, families, n fellow Americans they send a message that your life ain't worth squat. But they also send the message that their life is worthless to them because they won't do the research to find out that what you are saying to them is exactly right on, true, facts, evidence. They render life meaningless and that really upsets me. Okay, all links are below.